In today's video I will show you a quick tip on how to identify tears of the supramedial spring ligament on MRI. Hi, my name is Dr. Christoph Acton and I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist working for Aristra and in my YouTube channel I teach you MSK radiology with the focus on MRI. So this is a patient with flat foot deformity as you can see here the foot is flat and the referring physician they wanted to know about posterior tibial tendon pathology tendinosis tear etc so whenever you have this kind of like situation as we know from other videos like uh, the uh, anatomy about the spring ligament etc the medial arch there is kind of like two stabilizers the posterior tibial tendon as the dynamic stabilizer and the supramedial spring ligament or the spring ligament complex in general as the static stabilizer so we have to assess both now in this particular case it's quite nice because I can quickly quickly show you a easy trick on how to identify lesions or tears or like complete tears of the supramedial spring ligament. Now first just a quick repetition with regards to the anatomy of the spring ligament and how to identify this stuff. So basically you go down to the coronoid fossa here in the calcaneus this 90 degree angle and there you can see the the medial plantar oblique and the infraplantar longitudinal component of the spring ligament they are not important for you know our purposes or clinical purposes for that matter and the supramedial spring ligament kind of like goes beneath the or below the posterior tibial tendon just on the, along the medial contour of the tailor head so but since this is a pathologic case or a pathology it's not so easy to see here but i will show you how it looks like on another example now if you're not familiar with the anatomy, it's probably not uh, it's kind of like pointless to continue with this video. So go check my anatomy video first. So the trick that I want to show you here today is basically you have a coronal sequence of the ankle joint and you then go to the posterior tibial tendon. So we can see the posterior tibial tendon here and then we can see the tailor head. So you identify both structures, tailor head and posterior tibial tendon. You follow it all the way down and you can see it's inserting here into the navicular bone and has these other insertions uh, on the plantar side of the foot. So the tendon is coming down here and here on this particular slide or image you can see that the posterior tibial tendon is directly adjacent to the tailor head. So there is nothing in between. That's not normally the case. So whenever you see this there has to be a full thickness tear of this portion of the supramedial spring ligament otherwise there would be a spring ligament between the posterior tibial tendon and the tailor head and this is a easy trick to identify relevant tears that might be more difficult if you just use for example other sequences like maybe this one because you might see some stuff up here although even that it's not you know dark enough and there's just nothing between the tendon and here. So normally there is about five, four, five millimeter strong ligament like structure that is going this direction. And here it's just the posterior tibial tendon abutting directly this one. This is consistent with a full thickness tear of the supramedial spring ligament here in this patient. But to illustrate this a little bit uh, better, let me just compare this with another patient. So this is the case that I just showed you. We have the posterior tibial tendon directly adjacent to the tailor head. There are some uh, spring ligament fibers up here. You can see it's a little bit higher up. So there is a gap here, but these fibers here are still like degenerated, but the tear is below that. So it's not like that the complete supramedial portion is torn, but there is a big full thickness defect down below. So, and this is a other patient which um, doesn't have any issues with the posterior tibial tendon or with flat foot or with the spring ligament for that matter. So we go down to the ankle joint and we can see the superficial deltoid ligament with the tibial spring ligament. So tibial spring coming down inserting into the supramedial spring ligament and you can see how this supramedial spring ligament is covering the tailor head and then it's inserting here and the posterior tibial tendon is this structure here so it's coming down and we can now see posterior tibial tendon tibial spring and spring ligament here it's kind of like pushing it away preventing direct contact with the tailor head 
whereas on this particular case so we can try to see the delta ligament so it's coming down here we can see some fibers here of the supromedial spring ligament but when we go more you know distally really it's kind of like gone and here we always have this thick ligament protect not protecting but kind of like just in between these two structures so here direct contact complete tear here separated this is not a tear so i hope this was helpful to you if you think that's a good tip so hit the like button and also if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel because there will be a lot of more new videos coming out in the next coming weeks and months and if you haven't realized i have now because i have 10,000 subscribers which is really amazing the opportunity or the possibility to actually also sell t-shirts and stuff like that and so you know my video about the five different types of radiologists so this is basically uh, me today here radiologist type 3 thinker and um, it's quite nice so quality wise it's perfectly fine and if you would like to have a nice present for a radiologist colleague or something go check the sh store down below or here on this link where you can find other accessories like um, cups for like coffee etc or t-shirts or hoodies etc and this is just another way for you to support my channel and the work that i'm doing here um, yeah basically that's it and make sure you come back soon for the next video